I like to talk to my friends who have come to the show that night, and they're, they always want to talk about it. And most of my friends are talking about it two, three days later. They're still going over the thing. If not the immigration story, the border crossings, they all say, I, people need to see that. And they also want to talk about the interpersonal dynamic with these three. Mm -hmm. How could I do what I do, you know? <laughs> How can you do what you do? Oh, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to do it in a pretend world. But, you know, <laughs> karma's real. <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty fun to talk about it. Because yeah. let's face it, it's every woman's nightmare, yeah. you know, which is, I think, really why the original play has still resonates because that's these are primal things that never change you know how about you guys it was really powerful the first couple of performances afterwards what so what happens is before i come out for the final scene i have to run backstage one of the few times i get to go off stage yeah. and do a quick change and the young actor benjamin who plays my son the first couple times was very emotionally affected mm -hmm by the end of the play. He was really... Really just, and I, and I found out later, we found out that he had had a couple tragedies in his life that were coming up with the themes of the play. And so I'd give him a quick hug and hold on to him before I went out and did the final scene. And then as we go off for curtain call, he and I just started hugging each other backstage. We just give a little hug. You're good, I'm good, you're still alive. I didn't, you know, everything's good. Um, sometimes we'll walk down the stairs together, four flights of stairs down to the dressing room, and I'll check in, like, was, was the slap okay? Was it too high? Did I hurt, you know? Or we'll just kind of, how was that for you? Um, so that, I look forward to that when I get off, because it's, yeah, there's times at Curtain Call where it's, it brings me to a place where I don't quite have the release, so I need to get it out, and checking in with my loved ones, uh, you know, and in the, dr in the dressing room, us girls just start blabbing about and whatever, so. You have a, a process after the show or can you just shake it off? Um, it's complicated because it changes night to night. Uh, one of the things that I love about performing for a living is that you, it's very difficult to plan. You can prepare all you want, but the whole point is to not plan. I don't want to know what's going to happen. So then by the end, you're sort of like, some nights you get off and you've been affected in a really visceral way. And then other nights, like Sabina and I walk down the stairs and it's sort of like an episode of The Office. We're just like <laughs> shooting jokes back and forth that are really dry about how like how over full we are, like whatever the situation is. It's almost in direct response. It's like Dadaism, like what's the point? Like we just went through this whole thing where we pretended to kill people and do this thing. So like, let's just move on with our lives. Thank you